What's going on everybody, Sambo here. Welcome back to Elsmore. Now today we are over in, oh, you see that car? <laughs> Excuse me, where's he going? Jeez, oh my God. Today, <laughs> we're over in uh, Al Samir, which is one of the first cities that I made on this map. And just before I start, if you didn't check out the recap that I made in the last video, I will link that above now or I'll put it in the description. Go check it out. It's a nice little refresher on everything that's happened so far. So what I want to do today is I want to update the roads through here and we need to make a bit of a inner city, not a highway, but maybe like a main road so they can get through really easily because this is a very, very compact city. All of the roads are very, uh, they're just the dirt. They're slow. I think the speed is like 30 kilometers an hour or 20, maybe 40, somewhere between 20 and 40. And there's no clear way for them to get through. And the plan is to definitely expand throughout this whole island. So this is going to be a real canal island. So we have a lot of canals here, but I do want to ex extend the canals over here and extend them over here. So if we're going to do that, we're going to have a lot more traffic wanting to get over through here. And I don't want to have to just make them go through here without any clear way to go to go through. So what we're going to do today is find a clear way for them to go through, try to make it as easy and quick for them as possible. And some of you probably say, well, why don't you just do like like a bypass road that goes around here or that goes like up here that would kind of ruin the the look because i don't know i just i just don't want that i, I want to keep the compact look so we're not going to do any major bridges or things like that we're just keeping it simple I had, a, I had a look at it and I've been trying to think about what to do because i don't want to come on camera and just be sitting here going hmm i don't know what to do but I think what I want to do, the best way is to find the shortest route for them to get from over here, which is the highway, and to get them over to this part over here. And I'm thinking of doing like a road that goes through here, because going over here, it's more wonky for them to go through. Over here is like a mini tourist area, so I don't really want to make that a main road. I mean, it's supposed to be a little tourist area anyway, <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't want to update that one because it just would not fit in. And I don't want to have to bring the main road through over here, which is a very peaceful area. I'm thinking we'll bring it somewhere over through here and then go across this bridge and then over to here somewhere. And then maybe we can do some maybe some roundabouts and nicer roads that'll make it a little bit easier for them to get around and maybe plan a little bit for the main roads. But we'll have to do the canals soon because, you know, if we're going to do roads, we need to know where the canals are going as well. I don't think I've really showed this city much. Al Samir, 15,000 people, no industrial over here. Um, not much else I can really say, not many visitors either. So what we're going to do, oh, this is where the industrial area is over here. When we place down a road, I have to go through and find what is suitable, but it has to be a road that's quite small. And like, for example, if we do these ones here, they're not going to fit because they're too wide. And I don't want to have to like demolish a lot of buildings to get it in there. So we'll have to choose a smaller one. But the only downside is that is it's not going to allow for parking. And you, you guys know I like parking. Uh, this could be one. Oops. That could be one, but yeah, it, it, that's all right if it doesn't allow parking, but I think this one, because that one, I mean, most of the time we should be able to put it through, but that one, at least they have a clear sidewalk and it makes it a little bit easier. I might have to move those buildings back a little bit. All right. And then I think we can use that one to make an actual proper roundabout that'll do for now so let's go through we'll update the speeds because like that's 20 <laughs> that's that's really so slow but yeah look at all the other roads they're also 20 so that's why it's really really important that we find a proper way for them to get through al Samir and get to the other side without having to go through all these wavy wonky dirt roads and as we go along we're going to be we're going to remove some of the roads connecting to this new main road and just help the flow flow, <laughs> just help the road flow a bit better. 
I know this is a more informal type of video, but I'm just doing something different where I kind of talk about my thought process and why I do it a certain way. So this is like a town center here, which in real life would there would be a lot of people. They would probably make a lot of these roads just for pedestrians. So we don't really want to disturb that. You know what I mean? Lots of traffic versus lots of people. Try to keep them separate, separate if possible. So even though it's not the most ideal thing, we we could go down here but then that creates another turn so we want to minimize as many turns as possible so i think i'll put it up through here oops i'll put it up here and we won't go any further than that but we'll go along the side here so we'll we'll make it so that the this is all the prior priority road so no other cars will continuously interrupt them so it comes up through here they can turn and that one's a little bit too close as well so we'll go no collision because it's overlapping a little bit we will do that one i know you're unhappy i know i know <laughs> these guys over here unfortunately might lose their peacefulness but it's just whatever is the easiest and most convenient now <laughs> we have slums over here yes there is actually slums throughout al samir which I don't mean to be rude, but this is from a Mexican pack. Yes, and they're actually the slums. But what we're gonna do is just gonna go straight through there. And we'll do a connection through here as well. So it's gonna demolish that rock. Well, it should have demolished, but I have no collision on like this. I do wanna keep the rock, so I just wanna drag it like that. Actually, that's that's good. These plants a little bit, a little bit overlapping like that. Right, so we'll fix up all the buildings that are overlapping like these ones here how they're really close we have this bridge here but i'm thinking we can probably do another one but that's that's one that one's not going to create a bridge so we need to find one that actually creates a bridge so they can get across that one does that one would do i think and i mean yeah we have a bridge right there but Sometimes that just happens. You have the old versus the new right next to each other. And just because you have a new one doesn't mean you have to get rid of the old one. So we'll go like that. We'll give it a bit of a curve as well. And I mean, all of these buildings here, they're not that nice anyway. So I'm not too concerned about their opinion. I know that sounds bad, but it'll just have to do. It's the best way. So it comes along here and we'll make it go right along the back okay we'll have to demolish something we have this road here so we'll curve that road actually we'll go like that yes it's going to demolish that pathway but that's all right that'll come around there like so that's all right so we're getting somewhere good oops we'll do no collision again i don't know what that mod is oh it's the no pillar mod sorry if you want to use that one it's actually really handy because it's annoying when you put down a road and it demolishes everything so really really good and then we'll come over here and we'll chuck you across oh no we'll chuck you across there like that straight across good 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 we don't have any boats going up and down the canals anymore so i don't really care about the bridge heights if anyone's wondering and we'll bring the bridge connection right over to the edge as close as possible then we'll get our other one and we'll go back to the ground and done just like that drag it over just a little bit keep it at the same height actually it looks too high like that but we don't want to have the canal line crossing through there good so even though it's a tiny little road it's it's going to be really useful at the moment when we finish this no cars will use it because we don't really have anything over here yet but at least it's done it's planned and it's ready to go so i'm just going to go through quickly and move all of the buildings back a little bit just because they are way too close i don't want them to be overlapping when the pedestrians are trying to walk on the side of the road i actually want to be able to see the pedestrians when they're walking because to me it looks nicer when you can see them okay i think that's all of the buildings pushed back so the next thing we want to do is go through and update the speed keeping in mind it oh, 10 keeping in mind it is still an inner city area so we can't go too fast but for the sake of the game i'm gonna do 60 which is in real life it would be probably 
40 or something like that but for the sake of the game and the game mechanics we want to make it quick and speedy all right that's the speed limits done next thing we need to do is our stop signs we'll actually do giveaway signs for most of them so we don't want these cars like on these roads to continuously be coming in and disrupting all of the traffic so we need to go like this like so this one here i just want the cars to go around i don't want that like these ones here to go up here i just want them to go around easily and nice i don't know what's going on here why is there a road in there I'm not sure so i'll do a giveaway sign for pretty much every single intersection that's on our new little mini main road and then after that we have another step that we can do as well to help with the flow okay it seems like a lot of them before we do anything else i'm just watching and it seems like a lot of them are going up here for some reason so why don't we go into this one and we'll just double check where they're all going over here somewhere kind of just all over the place isn't it well since we're already doing it, you can see some cars are using our new mini main road which is really really nice to see but we might do one more extra little main road so we'll just do it quickly no collision this one won't be like the actual main road for connecting them over here but it'll just be a nice addition for them to get around through the city so we might actually go up here so there won't be any more main roads this will just be i'll make that for pedestrians here and then this one come down here and it'll go down here because it's the this is the only way to get to uh, the other side here we'll update the bridge to a proper one and then what i'm gonna do i mean all of these roads are very windy wonky so it's never going to be perfect but at least we can kind of help it a little bit help them get around so it's going to go up here it's got a bit of a weird angle here. I might adjust that. Oops, I'm using the wrong one, first of all. But I might do something else for that angle in a second. But we'll come back to that. Put that one there. We'll remove those plants in a second. And we'll just do a main road that goes up along here. Like that. That's good. Then it can connect up there. We'll do that one over there so it can extend. And along there to the other side and we'll update those speeds as well and while we're at it let's extend one more little piece so we have this one that goes up here and it goes over to this bridge so i might do another one that goes over to this bridge but since this is like a tourist area i don't know i don't know if i really want to let's just have a look how does it look no it, i feel like it ruins the look of it and the main road can go along the back here because it goes past the hospital there goes past a little park and then i'll have to do a little connection up through here and it's going to demolish one building there and some trees and then we'll continue this one right down the middle because this is a very central area so it's going to be quite handy oops and then it connects up to our other main road as well so the same as the others, we're going to update the speeds of those. Actually, we'll do 50. 60 seems a little bit too fast. So we go along like that. And I feel like just by doing a faster speed limit, it'll naturally attract them to utilize it more than the other roads because they're obviously going to be able to get around faster than going on a road that only has 20. So as well as updating the speeds for all of these new roads, we'll also have to do the giveaway signs for pretty much every intersection as well. Uh, I don't think I'll show that on camera because it's kind of obvious what to do. But again, just the reason why we, we want to do the giveaway sign is so that the traffic on our new mini road has a nice flow going straight through. That's not going to be continuously interrupted by traffic that's continuously trying to enter onto the main road. So the traffic trying to enter onto the main road, um, they won't be the priority. They'll have to really wait. Uh, and then over here at our entry point, I just want to remove the pedestrian activity because the pedestrians are always trying to cross the road, which is going to disrupt them as well. So and it, it really easily bunches up down here in the traffic. So we want to make sure at least down here, it's not too annoying. All right. I, lo I notice a lot of them are trying to cut down through here, which which is okay but i don't want that because it kind of ruins the flow so i'm going to make it so they can only go straight ahead 
And did they? Uh huh. For some reason they were slowing down there. So we're going to go like that, which allows them to go straight through, which gives them the priority as well. We go like that as well. So they can go straight up ahead or turn right. These ones they can come down, but they'll have to. They'll they'll have to give way. So that's just what they'll have to do. So the main road is actually it goes around there and goes up that way and then this is all just left for uh the pedestrians to walk around in and that's pretty much all i needed to do for this episode but another reason why i wanted to do this road update is because like i said in my last video i'm going to start working on the other country which is el samara which is where we are now so we've, we've been working a lot on burgess here which is all of this area over here but we are going to start extending a lot throughout here and this is going to be one of the main areas where we will extend so i wanted to do this video because it gives all of you a close-up view of al samir how the road system is set up because it's a little bit different from the other cities it's it's very compact but it's got a bit of a grid so it's a little bit easier to um, to look at but yeah we're going to be doing a lot more expansion throughout here so i thought it's definitely important for all of you to get a quick little look at this city before we do any of that but i'm not going to do any more roads over here because we don't know where we'll do the canals so we'll have to put down the canals first wherever that's going to be and then we can do some more main roads so the these are going to be kind of newer areas but still somewhat older style if that makes sense so we can kind of plan these out a bit more whereas this area i didn't plan anything at all and i mean look at that we would gone pretty good whereas when we started the video there was a a good row of cars down here it was getting very busy here very very quickly because we had a lot of pedestrians trying to cross here we had a lot of cars coming in and out of all of the intersections and it was just really really messy so Hopefully this will be all right once we start expanding, but we can always manage and fix everything up again. Anyway, you guys, thank you all for watching and um, I'll be back very soon with another video. Bye guys.